Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Veterans Memorial Stadium here in Quincy, Massachusetts. On behalf of Quincy Superintendent of Schools, Kevin Mulvey, North Quincy High School Principal, Keith Ford, and Quincy High School Principal, Larry Tagaleri, we welcome you to tonight's girls lacrosse contest between the visiting Red Raiders of North Quincy and your Quincy High School Presidents. Tonight is a very special night as we get to honor the seniors from both the North Quincy High School and Quincy High School girls lacrosse programs. The girls lacrosse class of 2022 at both high schools have put a tremendous amount of time, effort, and dedication into the program over the past four years. The leadership these seniors has demonstrated to our younger players will surely carry on into the future. We look forward to having them come back and support the program as alumni. We wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. At this time, I would like to introduce the starting lineup and your seniors for the North Quincy High School Raiders. First, sophomore, number six, Nina Smith. Sophomore, number seven, Grace Pickering. Junior, number 18, Brianna Alvarado. Freshman, number 20, Iris Joka. Junior, number 28, Kate Murray. And now for our North Quincy High School seniors. First up, being accompanied by your friend and teammate, Carly Amendalore. Please welcome number 24, Dia Ugu. Dia will be attending the University of Pittsburgh in the fall to study nursing. Congratulations, Dia, and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, Dia Ugu. Next up for the Raiders is number eight, Joyce Zong. Joyce's mother couldn't make it here today. However, she's happily accompanied by her friends, Trista and Jada. Wishing Joyce the best as she heads out to UMass Amherst in the fall to study biochemistry on the pre-med track. Good luck, Joyce. Ladies and gentlemen, number eight, Joyce Zong. Next, number 13, Charlotte Kelleher. Joining her is her parents, Abby and Kevin Kelleher. Charlotte is headed to St. Anselm College in the fall, where she will study biology. Congratulations and best of luck to Cha Cha. Ladies and gentlemen, number 13, Charlotte. Kelleher. Next we have number 25, Alex Abrahamovich. Alex is being escorted to midfield by her dad Eric and her mom Jeanette. Alex is headed to Quinnipiac University in the fall where she will also study biology. Congratulations and good luck Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, number 25, Alex Abrahamovich. And now for the first of our three captains, please welcome captain number 17, Teresa Sheedy. <laughs> Teresa is being escorted to midfield by her mom, Jean, and dad, Paul. Teresa is headed to UMass Boston in the fall and will study nursing. Good luck, Teresa. Ladies and gentlemen, number 17, Teresa Sheedy. Next we have captain number nine, Jamie McAlevey. Jamie is being escorted out to midfield by her mom Kathy and dad Jim. Jamie will be studying nursing next year at UMass Boston. Congratulations and good luck, Jamie. Ladies and gentlemen, captain number nine, Jamie McAlevey. 
And finally for the Red Raiders is captain number 15, Carly Amandalore. <laughs> Carly is being escorted to the field by her mom and dad, Jennifer and John. Also her brother Joe. Carly is headed off to Boston College where she will major in political science. Ladies and gentlemen, number 15, Captain Carly Amandalore. It is in one last big round of applause for all of your North Quincy High School seniors. And now your starting lineup for the Quincy High School presidents. Number 22, Junior Alex Kane. Number two, Junior Caroline Campbell. Number 11, Junior Delia Nichols. Number 10, Junior Caroline Tracy. Number 16, sophomore Anna McPhillips. Number 29, sophomore Taya Quinn. And now for your Quincy High School seniors. First, Lindsay Hatfield. <laughs> Lindsay is walked out by her parents, Kelly, her brother, Neil, Zach, her sister, Allie, and Emily. She'll be attending Merrimack College to study biology. Lindsay played four years of soccer at QHS and was a captain this year. Lindsay is also a member of the National Honor Society. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay Hatfield. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next we have Kathleen Higgins. <laughs> Kathleen is accompanied by her father, William. She'll be attending Merrimack College to study business. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathleen Higgins. Next we have Mia Nguyen. Mia is whacked out by her parents Lou and Jennifer, her brother Kobe and sister Honor. Mia will be attending Simmons University to study nursing. She was also a four-year member of the soccer team. Ladies and gentlemen, Maya Nguyen. Next we have Kaylee Conroy. Kaylee is walked out by her mom Siobhan and brother Sean. She will be attending Westfield State University to study marketing. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaylee Conroy. Next for Quincy, we have Captain Abby Codner. <laughs> Abby is walked out by her parents, Lisa and Donald Codner, her brothers, Charlie and Will. Abby will be attending the University of New Hampshire to study nursing. Abby also played soccer for Quincy High School presidents. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Abby Codner. Next we have Captain Chloe Lynch. Woo! Chloe is walked out by her parents, Don and Kevin Lynch, brother Teddy and sister Sophie. Chloe will be attending Westfield State University to study criminal justice. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Chloe Lynch. Next for your Quincy Presidents, we have Captain Maddie Bailey. Maddie 
was walked out by her parents, Lynn and Tim, sister Megan, and brother Brendan. Maddie will be attending the University of Connecticut to study business. Maddie was a four-year member of the QNQ hockey team, a 2021 Patriot Lacro League Lacrosse and Hockey All-Star, a 2021 Patriot Legend Lacrosse and Hockey All-Scholastic. We also want to acknowledge a very special accomplishment Maddie achieved this year by scoring her 100th career goal and her 150th career point in lacrosse. Way to go, Maddie. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Maddie Bailey. Have a one last big round of applause for both your Quincy High School seniors and your North Quincy High School seniors. At this time, I'd like to ask you all to please rise, remove your caps for the playing of today's national anthem. Okay. Night lacrosse game. This is Alyssa Ryan, Jackie Kane, and Ashlyn Kelly. And we will be your announcers today. <laughs> We just finished up the senior night festivities and the game will be starting any minute now between the Quincy High Presidents and the North Quincy High Raiders. Should be an interesting match. Should definitely be an interesting match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this rivalry has been going on for many years and it's always such a fun time and
and they're taking the field. Looks like number 11, Delia Nickel for Quincy High will be taking the draw and number 17, Teresa Sheedy for North Quincy High. The goalie for North will be number 28, Kate Murray and the goalie for Quincy, number 29, Taya Quinn. And they're off. Fighting for possession. North has it. Shot by number 25, Alex Abrahimovic on North. And she takes possession for a penalty shot. Uh, score by North is now one nothing Raiders. Goal by Alex Abrahimovic. Now taking the draw for Quincy Highs, number 12, or not number 12. <laughs> number two, Caroline Campbell. And they're fighting for the ball, and it looks like North comes up with it again. Jamie McAlevey. Ooh, struck down. They're fighting for the ball. It looks like a North will remain in possession. Looks like a foul on number 11, Delia Nickel. <laughs> and she takes in the shot. Goal! It's good. By number nine, Jamie McElvey. Yes. North now has a 2 nothing lead against the Presidents. North Quincy goal scored by number 9, Jamie McAlee. Taking the possession again is number 11, Delia Nickel, and number 17, Teresa Sheedy. Foul on number 10, Caroline Tracy. And North has possession down the field. Oh, it's struck down. They're fighting for the ground ball. Possession gain by Car Caroline Campbell. Looking for a pass. <gasps> it's struck down by North. Quincy will remain in possession. Number two, Caroline Campbell, now running down the field. She looks out for the pass. The pass yes. is good, and a goal by number seven, Kathleen Higgins. It awesome pass and awesome finish by the Quincy Presidents. As usual. Still a 2-1 lead by the Red Raiders. Great connection there from Campbell to Higgins. Goal scored by number seven, Kathleen Higgins. The ball is up after the draw, and Delia Nickel will get the possession. 
She has about two on her. She's weaving in and out. She looks out for the pass. Pass to Chloe Lynch. Back to Nickel. She's taking it in the eight, and she's out again. And it's a uh, high Foul stick on, on north. north. Looks like a penalty shot for number 11, Delia Nickel. Oh. North possession. gains possession. <laughs> it's taken up. Oh, no. it's struck down by Lindsay Hatfield. Lindsay looking for a pass. Pass out to Mia Nguyen. And back to Campbell. She looks up for the pass, and now it's a fight for the ground ball. Kathleen Higgins gains possession. And a foul on North. She shoots, and now it's a fight for the out-of-bounds ball. Looks like a foul on number 18 for North, Brianna Alvarado. It's a penalty for number two, Caroline Campbell. Lindsay will regain possession. Pass out to Campbell, and she passes in, and now it's a fight for the ground ball. Possession gain by North goalie, Kate Murray. Another fight for the ground ball. Number 25 on North, Alex Abrahamovich regains possession. Looks like she's taking it all the way down the field, a shot, and now a fight for the out of bounds mm -hmm. ball. Possession regained by number 23, Autumn Ocampus, looking for a pass. <coughs> Sorry, number 21, Autumn Ocampus. Taken in by North and score by Autumn Ocampus. The score is now 3 to 1 north. North Quincy goal assisted by number 17 Teresa Sheedy. North Quincy goal scored by number 21 Autumn Ocampus. Looks like a sub for Quincy. Uh, Number 11, Delia Nickel off for number 8, Grace McGillicuddy. And a fight after the possession. Foul on North and Quincy will gain possession. Ground ball picked up by number 7, Kathleen Higgins. She takes it around the crease and a shot. Saves. Saves by North. Another ground ball picked up by Quincy. Never mind. Ground ball picked, picked up back up North. again. Good defense by Grace Connor. 
Number nine, senior captain Jamie McAlevey struck down by number five, Chloe Lynch. And North gets the ball. Number 17, Teresa Sheedy running in. And that'll be a penalty shot for Teresa. <laughs> and it's good. It's good. The score is now 4-1 North. North Quincy goal scored by number 17, Teresa Sheedy. A lovely day for a lacrosse game. Is up and picked up one by Quincy. Ooh. Foul on North and Caroline Campbell has possession. Good dodge there by number 11, Delia Nickel. Off the post, and it's a fight for a ground ball. North possession as Teresa Sheedy passes out. And it's Quincy possession. Number 16, Anna McPhillips now with the ball. Possession again by North. Oh. And Teresa Sheedy is struck down by Quincy. Looks like a foul on number 14, Grace Connor. Number 25, Alex Hamich with the ball. Ooh, a shot and a miss and a fight for the ground ball. North will remain in possession. Pass out to Jamie McElvey. Oh. Oh! Possession gained by Quincy. A pass up to Delia Nickel by Alex Kane. That's my sister. Go, Alex. Go, Alex. Good and she dodges north. Oh. Pass into the middle, and it is struck down by north. Some great defense being played by North Quincy High. And Caroline Campbell has the ball outside the 12. Shot by Campbell, possession gained by the North goalie, Kate Murray. Fight for the ground ball at the 30. And Quincy will regain possession. Senior captain Abby Codner now taking it in. It oh, a shot in the goal, goal by Abby, Abby Codner. A defensive player as a well. Defensive player. The score will now be 4-2, to two, North leading. Ooh. 
with the goal scored by number 20, Abby Codner. And another draw. Possession one by Caroline Campbell. Grace Connor. Oh. Sorry, Grace McGillicuddy. Oh, Grace McGillicuddy. Sorry, guys. Celia Nickel looking for a pass. As she takes it around the eight. Ooh, Ooh shot deflected by the north goalie. Another fight for the ground ball, won by Quincy. Number 10, Caroline Tracy. Slay. <laughs> she takes it behind the net and a pass out to Kathleen Higgins. Oh. <laughs> Foul on number um, 18. Brianna Alvarado on number 14 for Quincy, Grace Connor. Taken behind the net by Quincy. Campbell will take it in and possession is regained by North. The foul on Quincy. North doing a great job of clogging up the middle and cutting off Lindsay High's passes. And Quincy will regain possession. Looks like another sub for Quincy, number 10, Caroline Tracy coming out, and number 17, Amira Isaid going in. shot for Higgins. And a goal for Higgins. Woo! 4-3. North remains in the lead. Foul on number 17, Teresa Sheedy by number 2, Caroline Campbell. North regains possession after the draw. Looks like shooting space on number 18 for Quincy. Kira Folan. And a goal by number nine, Jamie McAlevey. A close game as North adds another one with a 5-3 score. North Quincy goal is scored by number nine, Jamie McAlevey. The draw goes up and possession gained by Teresa Sheedy for North.
She takes it in the middle and struck down by Quincy. Possession gained by number 20, Abby Codner. As she takes it up the side. She's still going. Nice foul on North and a pass for Quincy. Number 17, Amira Saeed behind the net. I'm sorry, I think I might be pronouncing her name wrong. <laughs> and North regains possession as they run up the field. Ground ball. Recovered by number, oh, never mind. One by North. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Foul by A number. Foul on Alex Kane. <laughs> 22, Alex Kane. Oh, another foul on Alex Kane. Another foul on Alex Kane. Another North. Oh, Alex Kane gets possession. <laughs> As she takes it up the middle, she looks for a pass. Out to oh. Grace Connor. Many defenders on her. Up to pass Chloe to Chloe Lynch. Lynch. Deflected. Saved by Kate Murray. Good save. Grace Connor has the ball. Passed into the middle and struck down by North as they regain possession. Now number 13 for North, Charlotte Kelleher, looking for a pass to number nine, Jamie McAlevey. Now with the ball for North, number seven, Grace Pickering. Oh. Oh, good defense by 20 as 18. 18 Kira Fullen. Delia Nickel with the ball up the middle. Oh. A fight for the ground ball behind the goal. One by North. Oh, 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 oh. Ground ball. And North will remain in possession. Oh. Ground ball. And it looks like that's going to be a foul for North. Number 25, Alex Abrahamovich now at the ball. Taken behind the net for North. <laughs> behind the net again for North. Taking around Abraham. the 12. A shot and a save by number 29, Taya Quinn for the Presidents. Good pass to Alex Kane. Up to, to Grace, Grace Connor. Connor. Beautiful play by the Presidents. <laughs> <laughs> to, oh. Out of bounds, who will win? And it's North Ball. Good transition by Quincy. Good trap defense as North tra attempts to take it up the field. Struck down by Quincy and one again. Number 18, Kira Fullen for a ground ball. Another ground ball. Oh, and regained by, oh, nope. Grace Connor regains possession for Quincy.
Good defense by North. As they're called for a foul, and Grace Connor will get a penalty shot. Still Quincy possession. And a save by number 28, Kate Murray for North. She looks out for the pass and it is taken up the field by North. Oh. Ooh, good trap defense by Quincy. Foul by number 18, Kira Fullen. Another ground ball. North picks it up. Taken behind the net by North. And nice trap save. defense as Taya Quinn looks out for the pass. Passed out to Amira as she takes it up the field. Nice trap defense by North. Quincy will remain in possession. And the interception <laughs> by Teresa Sheedy. as she will now gain possession. Now with the ball for North, number 16, Olivia Bailey. She passes to Chacha as Chacha takes it up the middle. Oh. North is on the ground. Who will win the ground ball? Quincy possession as Anna McPhillips looks to take it up the field. The pass is struck down by North. Chloe Lynch gets the ball. Quincy takes it behind the net. Oh. Looks like it's going to be a possession for Chloe Lynch. Foul on North, shot for Kathleen Higgins. Ooh, as she dodges the defenders and sticks it in the back of the net. The score is now 5-4, Raiders lead. Looks like another sub, number three, Mia Nguyen coming out, and number 11, Delia Nickel coming in for the Presidents. Draw goes up. Looks like North possession. <laughs> Taken in and dropped. Struck down by Quincy. And regained again by North. Now with the ball number 25, Alex Abrahamovich. Looking for a pass. Taken behind the net by North. As Jamie looks for the pass. Passed out again around the 12. Carly Amandalore with the ball and a foul on Quincy. 
Penalty shot for North. Taken in and a low shot by Amandalore and another goal for North. The score is now 6-4, Raiders lead. Short footy goal scored by number 15, Carly Abendalare. That's Carly Amandelare. I'm so sorry. Your score is now six to four with the president's in the lead. I mean, the no Raiders. Really <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> the draw is won by Sheedy. As she takes it down the middle. She dodges the president's defenders. And a save by your president's goalie, Taya Quinn. Looks like Kira Follin now running down the field. And that's going to be a foul. Foul on North as Fullen remains with the ball. Abby Codner looks for the pass as she takes it down the field. Struck down and regained by Quincy. Good defense by North as Jamie McAlevey now regains possession. Taking it down the side and up the middle. Good defense by Quincy. Going to be North Ball. And McAlevey shoots. The middle. And a oh, block. Good defense. good defense by Caroline Campbell. As she will now gain possession. Taking it up the side, passing to Alex Kane. Foul on North, Quincy possession. And that looks like that is going to bring us into halftime. Three, two, one. Ah! A shot by Quincy past the clock. Your halftime score is six, North Quincy. Four, Quincy. And that'll be your first half, ladies and gentlemen. Tickets sell one for $10, three for 20. We will have the drawing at the end of the game again. Raffle tickets for cornhole boards, one for 10, three for 20, and we will pull the raffle after the game. Thank you. All right, we're back for the second half. Your score is six to four with your North Quincy Raiders leading the game. We've switched sides as Teresa Sheedy wins the draw. Passed around the 12 by North to Jamie McAlevey. McAlevey. <laughs> so, so sorry. <laughs> Intercepted by Quincy. And it's back in North possession. Struck down, another fight for the ground ball. Looks like a foul for number 21, Automo Campus. Taken down the middle by North. Struck down by the Quincy defense. Looks like a foul on the presidents. And Carly Amandalore has the penalty shot. <laughs> oh, and it 
that's a goal for North Quincy. Taking that score up to seven to four. North Quincy goal scored by number 15, Carly Amanda Lare. Yep. Carly Amanda Lare with the goal. Your North Quincy captains are number nine, Jamie McAlevey, number 15, Carly Amandalore, and number 17, Teresa Sheedy. All four year athletes at North Quincy High. Very competitive players. I uh, believe they both played uh, soccer as well and were great leaders on those teams as well. And another fight for the ground ball. After the draw, won by Teresa Sheedy. Taken into the middle and back out again by North. Alex Abrahimovic with the ball. Into the middle by Jamie and a goal for North by Jamie McAlevey. McAlevey. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying. Mac and the three of us commentating today were last year's captains for the Quincy High Presidents. So we wish we could be out there today. Uh, Alyssa Ryan, Jackie Kane, and Ashlyn Kelly. Goal goal by number 21, the for the Quincy High Presidents. Goal scored by number nine, Jamie McAlevey. And we respect the hard work of every player out there today. We know whoever wins this game, it was a really hard fight. Lots of dedication put into the season for both teams. Such a great rivalry between the Presidents and the Raiders. Ooh. And the ball is given back to Jamie McAlevey. I got it. Great nice. job, Alyssa. I'm so Hopefully sorry, Jamie. We'll keep right. Taken down again by North by Sheedy. That is no, number 13. That Charlotte is Kelly. actually <laughs> Cha Cha. I'm so sorry, Cha Cha. Oh, a nice pass. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Susan it's Tana. Number 18, Kira Folan now looking for a pass to number eight, number Grace eight, McGillicuddy. Oop. and a foul on North. Number 11, Delia Nickel running down the field looking for a pass. Oh, pass to number seven. Still Quincy possession. Number two, Caroline Campbell with the ball. Back to Nickel. Getting past her on the 12 by the Presidents. <coughs> Into the middle and struck down by North's defense. going to be a shot for number four, or not a shot, <laughs> possession for Quincy. Number five, Chloe Lynch, senior captain with the ball. A shoot and a deflection by 28, Kate Murray, goalie for North, as she passes it out. Great transition by North. Oh, and a foul on number 16, Anna McPhillips nope. by Quincy. Is it Alex Kane? Might have been Alex Kane. <laughs> it was probably <laughs> Alex Kane. I know. It is It is Anna. Or no, it is Alex. Great job, Alex. Oh. Not Penalty a Penalty shot for North. I oh, a goal. <laughs> Struck into the back of the net by... by number 20, Iris Joka. For your North Quincy Raiders. Putting the lead up to 9-4. For the Raiders. Oh, sorry. 
The presidents are missing one of their senior captains, Maddie Bailey, as she had a tear in her ACL in an earlier game in the year. She still managed to get 100 career goals and 150 career points before this injury. Way to go, Maddie. Possession regained by number... Oh. Fight around the crease as it's taken again by number 29 for Quincy, Taya Quinn. And Alex King gets the ball before it goes out of bounds. She picks it up and is fouled and will remain in possession. Quick pass up to Chloe Lynch. Up to Lindsay Hatfield. Great transitioning by the Presidents. To number seven, Kathleen Higgins. Pass goes out of bounds and North will regain possession. With the ball for North appears to be number six, Nina Smith. And a foul by number five, Chloe Lynch. Looks like we have an injury on the field to number 25, Alex Ibrahimovic. up but is carried off by her coach. Appears that number 10, uh, Melanie Cretion, will be coming in for Alex Ibrahimovic off an injury. Hopefully she's okay. And North will remain in possession. Taken behind the net and out by the 12, passed out to Automo Campus. Intercepted by the presidents. It's going to be a foul on North. Quick pass to Abby Codner and to Grace McGillicuddy as she attempts to take it up the field. She is triple teamed. Quincy ball, North ball. <laughs> Number 21, Autumn Ocampus for North to Senior Captain Carly Amandalori. And another substitution for the Presidents, number 14, Grace Connor coming in for number four, Senior Captain Lindsay Hatfield. Looks like a foul by number eight for Quincy on number 21 for North, Automo Campus. <coughs> and a penalty shot for North. Or, sorry, by 16, Anna McPhillips. Oh. Off the post. Off the post and a fight for the ground ball. North possession. 
Foul by Alex <laughs> Kane. <laughs> That's a yellow card. Oh no. <laughs> On number 22, Alex Kane. My sister. Alex Kane taken out of the game. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That is. Oh, no, no, we're done. Quincy will be a man down. For the next two minutes. Number 17, Teresa Sheedy. The ball for the Raiders. Pass to number nine, Jamie McAlevey. Like a foul on Quincy. And Jamie will take a shot. And, and a she goal. scores. Another goal for North. As the score is now 10 4, Raiders continuing to lead. North 20 goals scored by number 9, Jamie McAlee. Shout out Grace O'Hanley. Oh my. <laughs> and that draw won by the Raiders. Foul on Sheedy. She'll have a free shot on that. <laughs> yeah, that was not correct. That was actually an incorrect call by <laughs> Ashley <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> North out. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Quincy High has possession. My bad, guys. Passed up from My Anna bad. McPhillips. Caroline Tracy picking up that ground ball. As she takes it up the middle and a pass to Lindsay Hatfield. Pass to pass Kathleen down Higgins. To Higgins. And, and a good. shot put in the back of the net by senior Kathleen Higgins. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot, beautiful pass, beautiful transition. Your score is now, is it 10 to 5? Yeah. 10 to 5. As the Quincy President's Quincy High School goal score. assisted by number 4, Lindsay Hatfield. Goal scored by number 7. Kathleen Higgins. Hatfield and Higgins, also members of the Quincy High varsity soccer team. Great as athletes all around. Great athletes all around, as well as Codner and Bailey. Yes, and Nguyen. And Nguyen. And Chloe Lynch. And Chloe Lynch, also. A lot of soccer players on this team. Oh, actually not Chloe Lynch. I don't think Chloe played soccer. Well, she's a great athlete. That's she's what I meant. She's still a great oh, athlete. Great a lot job, of competitive. Chloe. And, and McPhillips laying her body out for that ball. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be a north ball with possession to Automo Campus at the 20. Taking down the middle. A shot and a goal for Ocampus. Your lead is now six goals. As Alex Kane re-enters the field. Oh, yeah. She's free. <laughs> She's finally free. It is now even. Playing field. A lot of competitive and athletic players on each team. They all want the win. Who will come out on top with 14-49 left in the game on your senior night at Veterans Stadium? North winning the draw. Taken down the middle by Jamie McAlevey. Correct? Awesome. 
McAlevey with the pass to Teresa Sheedy. <clears throat> Waiting for the right moment. Taken behind the net by North. A good fight put up for the ground ball. Taken all the way up to the side That's and Quincy. Quincy. Ball. Kira Folan gains possession. Passed out to the side and out of bounds on North. Taken up by Grace Connor as she weaves through North defenders. Down the middle, and it is struck down by North defense. But Grace picks it up. And a goal! And the assist for Connor and goal by Higgins. Great teamwork, ladies. Your score is now 11-6 as the Presidents attempt to trail and <laughs> score They're catching the up. Raiders. They're catching up. Quincy High School goal, assisted by number 14, <laughs> Grace Connor. Great teamwork, ladies. Goal scored by number 7, Kathleen Higgins. Both teams putting up a good fight today. <clears throat> Another draw put up, and it is won by North. Autumn Ocampos with the ball. Passed up to Iris Joka. Joka. Back up top to Carly Amandalore. Taken behind by North. Up the middle and it is struck down by Quincy as Caroline Campbell gains pass possession. Pass to Caroline Tracy. Awesome pass. Awesome pass and catch by both Carolines. Up the middle by Delia Nickel. And a pass out to Grace Connor. Kathleen Higgins recovers the ball, maybe. Fight for the ground ball, maybe. <laughs> There's about eight players in there. Looks like a foul by Quincy. North will regain possession. Passed up to Charlotte Kelleher. Tushidi in the middle. Great transition by North. Taken up the middle, a shot. Saved. And a save by Taya Quinn. Pass out to the Presidents. We have about 11.30 left in the game. Interception by senior captain Carly Amandalore. Alex Kane playing some <laughs> aggressive defense there yet again. <laughs> wow. And Jamie McAlevey will remain in possession. Behind the net by North. Around the net by Iris Joka. Awesome save by Taya, President's goalie. Oh. Attempt to take it up the field, struck down by North, and another fight for the ground ball in the middle. Looks like a foul on North, and Caroline Campbell will take it up the field. Looking for a pass, she'll pass it to senior captain Abby Codner. Oh, watch out. Into the middle by Delia Nickel. Stolen by Jamie McAlevey. Both teams really want this win today. 
can really tell. Very aggressive ground balls, aggressive offense, aggressive defense. And the low shot by number Iris Joka, 20. number 20. A freshman. Very nice shot. Great shot. Great low shot. And North adds another one with the score being 12-6. Mia Nguyen back in for number 11, Delia Nickel for the Presidents. Grace McGillicuddy in for Lindsay Hatfield. Campbell and Sheedy taking the draw. Picked up by North. Great control on the draw by both Sheedy and Jamie McAlevey this whole game. North nice really boxing out by Abby Codner. Possessions today. And the ground ball is won by Abby Codner as she runs up the field. Pass to Grace Connor, taking it up the middle. Foul on North. Connor takes it just past the 12. Out to senior captain Chloe Lynch. Into the middle and struck down by North. Interception by Jamie McAlevey. Great long Ooh. pass up the middle. Nice pass. We have about a one on three right now for North. Passed into the middle with the low shot and it is deflected by President's goalie, Taya Quinn, with the long pass out, out of bounds on Quincy. Number 15, Carly Amandalore now looking for a pass for the Raiders. Take it in the middle. And wow. a goal. Unusual goal scored by number nine, senior captain Jamie McAlevey. North Quincy goal scored by number nine, Jamie McAlevey. That makes the score 13-6, Raiders in the lead. And we have about 18 minutes, nope, eight minutes. 15 seconds left in the game. The Raiders came to win the comeback today as the Presidents won the other Quincy versus North game earlier in the season. Possession taken down the field by Quincy. Passed out to senior Mia Nguyen. A nice deflection by Higgins, struck down by North. Never know what to expect in these rivalry games. Very true. Despite each team's record throughout the year, can go either way. So true, Ashling. Always a toss-up in the Quincy versus North Quincy rivalry. Both teams came to play. Pass into the middle. And we have a foul on Quincy, and North will take it up the field. Oh. oh. Foul committed by Chloe Lynch on number oh, that's a yellow seven. card yellow, yellow card, card on chloe lynch. lynch second yellow card for the presidents and she will be out for two minutes grace pickering with the ball for north so we just wait on the referees okay
Charlotte Kelleher now running down the field. And that's Ooh. picked up by Kira Folin for Quincy. Quick pass up to Freshman. Caroline Tracy. Fight for the ground ball, won by the Presidents. Pass up to number seven, Kathleen Higgins. Nice catch as she will attempt to take it down the middle. And that will be shooting space on north and a penalty shot for Higgins. Higgins, a very important member of Quincy High's varsity team for all four years. North will regain possession. Number 11, Kendall Kazmowski fighting for the ball for North. As Alex Kane wins possession, taking it up the middle. It's about a one on five for Alex. She shoots. It's out of bounds. <laughs> it's out of bounds. I think she gets to shoot. Who has possession of this ball? It looks like Alex is going to shoot. Very good. Foul on North. Penalty shot for Alex Kane. Defensive player. And awesome girl. Deflected by your North goalie, Kate Murray. Junior. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. Taken up the side by North. Deflected by Quincy. Another fight for the ground ball. And it is won by Grace Connor. And Chloe Lynch is back in this game. She's free. And it is. And oh, she's coming in hot. Oh, she's coming she in hot. Again. <laughs> Chloe wants to win this game. She wants to win. She's putting her body on the line for this game. That's for <laughs> sure. As North will remain in possession. Chloe Lynch, also a four-year member of Quincy High's varsity lacrosse team. Very feisty player. Very true. Other four-year players on the varsity squad include Abby Codner, Kathleen Higgins, and Maddie Bailey, who we miss very much during this game and the rest of the season. We love you, Maddie. <laughs> Hoping for a speedy recovery there, gal. Such a great player and person. As North gets the ball, number... Ooh. 15, Carly Amanda Lore. Number 11, oh. Kendall Kazmowski now. Interception Ooh, by defense. Quincy. But oh. North will not let Tough up that easy. Ball. Tough ground ball. Oh. Another ground ball. Both teams very aggressive on each pass. One by North. Teresa Sheedy up to Charlotte Kelleher. Looks like Kelleher will have a free shot on net. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's a shot for Charlotte Kelleher. And a save by number 29, Taya Quinn. North a sophomore. Possession. North regains possession. Passed around the 12 by the Raiders. We are now in the final three minutes of this game, folks. Taken behind the net. And a save. A save, and it is scooped up by Quincy, number 18, Kira Folan. A freshman. Sister of, I believe, Mareth Fullen, number six, a junior. Oh. Grace nice Connor save keeps by Grace it in. Connor as North continues to have good defense up the side. Pass to Mia Nguyen. Deflected Intercepted by North, by North Quincy. As and they take it up the side. Free ball, who will win? Alex, Alex Kane! Kane. <laughs> 
And it looks like we have no keep signal. That in. <clears throat> it, maybe that's just us. That hopefully is just us. Oh. I think we're cutting in and out uh, a little bit here. So sorry about this, guys. We actually had four viewers at one point. Oh, we're back. Chloe we're Lynch off. with the ball. She's facing the wrong <laughs> Caroline Campbell. She takes it with yeah. the shot yeah. and yeah. a score yeah. by Campbell. Caroline Campbell, a junior captain of the um, Quincy High not Girls. A not <laughs> I was talking about the soccer team this My year. Bad. She's a so captain. Of yes. Goal, awesome job, five. Caroline. Awesome job, Caroline. That's a true athlete right there. True goal athlete. Two, academic weapon. <laughs> academic <laughs> weapon. The presidents are not going down without a fight today. It's not today. Not game ever. Until the end. Grace McGillicuddy coming out. Senior captain, or for soccer, Lindsay Hatfield coming in. Ashling loves her soccer. I do love she my loves soccer, soccer girls. As we are in the final on minute both 33. North and Quincy. <laughs> Hi, Priscilla. <laughs> Shout out Priscilla Bonica. <laughs> we love you. Watching girl. at home. Not Adam. A balloon goes flying away. Caroline Campbell with the pass to Chloe Lynch. Taken in the middle, and she is... Looks like shooting space on North Quincy. Yes. That'll be a shot for Chloe Lynch. Let's go, Chloe. Let's go, Chloe. Um, more technical difficulties happening. That's okay. She takes it up the middle. And, and a save by, by Kate Murray. Great save. Junior goalie, Kate Murray. Quick transition by North Quincy. Oh. Come on, Alex. <laughs> Alex, very aggressive today. As Jamie McElvey dodges the defenders and takes it up the side for the Raiders. Yeah. Oh, good defense by Caroline Tracy. I as don't they know fight for the ground ball. Our camera might be cutting in and out, but we'll, we'll keep just, you posted, We'll just folks. tell you guys what goes on. And Grace oh. Connor. Drops it oh, now. Oh, oh, ground oh. ball. A bit of an aggressive fight for the ground ball by both Foul presidents North and Raiders. Quincy. As Grace Connor takes it up the middle, pass to Caroline, Caroline Campbell. Campbell. As she looks for the pass. Another pass to Kathleen Higgins. She takes it through the middle. Oh, lots of defenders on her. Good defense by North clogging up the middle. Oh, oh. oh. And North wins the ground ball. Looks like we have a foul called. Oh, we're back. Oh, no, we're not. Foul, okay. President's ball, Kathleen Higgins has the penalty shot. The last five seconds left in the game. Last five seconds on senior night for the senior, Kathleen Higgins with the shot. Again, shout out. Oh, and Aww. a save. A save by North goalie, Kate Murray. No, and that's the game. the game. Another shout out to all of our seniors from both Quincy High and North Quincy High on all of your successes. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Great awesome game for fight both by teams. both teams. It's a win for everyone today. Your final it's a win for everyone at Veterans 13, Memorial Stadium. It's a 13-7 seven. to seven win for the Raiders as both teams put up a great aggressive fight. Awesome job, ladies. We're all so glad and so happy for all of your successes now and in the future. And good luck to the underclassmen of both teams. I'm sure that they'll be looking forward to next season as well. An awesome job to our senior leaders on both teams. Shout out Maddie Bailey going to UConn. Shout out Maddie Bailey. Shout out Charlotte Kelleher coming to St. Anselm College. And I don't think any of these seniors are going to UMass Amherst. <laughs> that's okay. That's our school. That's all right. And that's all right. Yeah, shout out Maddie Bailey. Still being an awesome leader all despite around her athlete. injury. Amazing athletic. And scholastic. Scholastic. Really academic weapon. Academic, academic, academic weapon. and athletic weapon. That's what they call her. That's literally what they call oh, her. Nice. We have Dua Lipa playing in the background as both teams high five for the end of the senior night game. I need you. <laughs> Thank you, oh. Alyssa, for that. We are still. Okay. <clears throat> Yep, great game by both teams on a lovely May 24th evening. Shout out refs. Shout out to the refs. Shout, Shout out, out to the coaches. fans. 
head coaches for the Raiders, Marissa McGew, and for the Presidents, Carrie Monaco. And shout out Rob Kane as well. And, shout and out Lynn Rob Bailey. Kane. And, and shout Lynn. out Molly Minton <laughs> and Caroline Keenan. As and well as both athletic directors, JJ and Kevin. <laughs> shout Great out, job, guys. Shout out you guys. And Rick Beach. You love Rick Shout Beach. out Rick Beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Looks like we have no signal again. Oh. 